the minimum requirement is 24 so 3x plus y should be greater than or equal to at least and we need because it's a bound unbounded graph if you draw z z shading goes down leaves the z so corner points we should substitute in objective function where both the see shading both i'll shade down so only common region i'll retain uncommon i'll erase see if you get two maximums then the answer is not only 50 0 0 30. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, we'll go ahead with some more problems of linear programming. So, five markers. A television company owned by Priyanka and Bhavana operates two assembly lines, line 1 and line 2. Each line is used to assemble the components of three types of television, color, standards and economy. The expected daily production of each line is as follows. So, color in line 1 is 3 and line 2 is 1. Standard in line 1 is 1 and line 2 is 1. Economy in line 1 is 2 and line 2 is 6. Daily sending costs from the lines average 6000 for line 1 and 4000 for line 2. It is given that the company must produce at least 24 color and 16 standards and 48 economy TV sets for which an order is pending. Formulate LPP and solve graphically. See, dear students, uh, they told it is given that they must produce at least, at least means that much or more than that, 24 colors. So, for this, the minimum requirement, at least our minimum requirement for a color, they told 24 and uh, 16 for standard, standard they told 16 and 48 for economy, for economy they told 48. So, now for, uh, determine the LPP for two lines so that they should meet the requirements. So now we need to make, meet the requirements. So here, let, now we'll assume let x line 1 and y, y for line 2 are produced. x of line 1 and y of oh, line to are produced. So now here they give the daily cost for two lines are also given. Cost for line 1 is uh, 6000 and cost for line 2 is 4000. So always we should meet the minimum cost. So objective function. So z is cost function I should minimize. So that is 6000 x plus 4000 y. I should minimize, minimize this. This is the objective function here. We'll write objective function to solve the LPP. So here the objective function is the cost function. This is to be minimized. This is cost and conditions. What are the conditions? Here availability color, at least it should be 24. Means that much or more than that. So condition subject to, subject to, what are the conditions? So the first condition is what? So this line 1 I am producing x and line 2 I am producing y. So 3x plus 1y, 3x plus y should be less than, uh, at least means that much or more than that. That will be greater than or equal to 24. And the second standard 1 into x, 1x, 1 into y, 1y, that is x plus y should be greater than or equal to the standard minimum should be 16. And the last one that is economy. So, 2x plus 6y should be greater than or equal to 48. 2x plus 6y should be greater than or equal to 48. So, now we formulated LPP. We formulated LPP. Here we go. So, this is the formulation. So, cost I should minimize. For line 1, cost is 6000. So, we are producing x units. So, 6000x plus line 2, it is 4000. 4000 y, 6000x plus 4000y is total cost. Total cost we need to minimize always. And for color, the minimum requirement is 24. So, 3x plus y should be greater than or equal to, at least means that much or more than that. x plus y greater than or equal to 16. 2x plus 6y greater than or equal to 48. And number of, uh, see, units produced will be always positive or 0. So, x should be greater than or equal to 0. y should be greater than or equal to 0. Now, we will draw each line. So, first, let us draw this line and shade. 3x plus y greater than or equal to 24. 3x plus y is equal to 24. I will take. So, how to draw a line? First, you assume x is equal to 0. So, then you will get y is equal to 3 into 0 is 0, y is equal to 24. One point you got called 0, 24. 
Similarly, assume y is equal to 0. If you assume y is equal to 0, 3x is equal to 24 and x will be 24 by 3. 24 by 3 is what? 8. So, you got x is 8 and you got another point. Always we will write point is x comma y. x is 8 and y is 0. So, you got second point. And the graph, if I want to plot the graph for this. So, one line on x axis, one line on y axis. So, this is 0, 24 and this is 8, 0. And how to shade this? And we need to shade downwards because it is sorry, that is I told greater than or equal to right. Shade above. The mark is above. Shading goes like this. And second line. So now I have drawn uh, line one. Now I go to line two. So line two, that is line two is x plus y. X plus y is equal to 16. I'll take to draw. We should take see to draw a line, take is equal to so now put x equal to 0. So then 0 plus y, y is equal to 16. You'll get so one of the point is 0, comma 16. Then put y equal to 0. If you put y 0, you'll get x is what 16. So y 0, x is 16. So 16, comma 0. So you got uh, two points on the line. So you got two points on the line. This is on x axis, this is on y axis, one is 16 comma 0, the other one is 0 comma 16. So now we'll draw a line segment between this. Again, greater means shade above. So shade above. So second line will be like this in the graph. Now third line, 2x plus y. So we'll use different color to draw the third constraint. So third constraint or third line, third line, third line is what? x, uh, 2x plus 6y greater than or equal to 48. So I'll take 2x plus y, 6y equal to 48. So if I put x is 0, if I put x is 0, so this is 0, 6y is equal to 48 and uh, y becomes 48 by 6, 48 by 6, 6 eights are. So you got one point x comma y. So 0 comma 8 is one point. And the other point is put y 0. If you put y 0, so you'll get uh, uh, 2x is equal to 48 and x is equal to 48 by 2, 24. The other point will be 24 comma 0. So now if I separately draw the graph, so I'll get a graph like this. So 24, 0 and uh, is one of the point 24, 0 and the other point is uh, 0, 8 and uh, greater means shade above. This is also goes shade above. So now all put together if you draw a single graph. So now what we do, we draw a single graph for all these things. So all the graphs, if you take, so one line like this, one line like this, and both will intersect at a point. Point of intersection is 100, 0.8, 8, 8, 0. So now this is the point. So now uh, this is the point of intersection by the graph. We draw perpendicular to this and draw perpendicular to this, we'll get it. And we need, because it's a bound, unbounded graph, if you draw Z, Z shading goes down, leaves the Z. After you shade, both will mix in this region. So where it is not mixing, I'll erase. So, so this line will shade up and this line also will shade up. So both will mix in this region. Both will mix in the region, this point, this point and this point. So both will mix in this region. So this region, we call it as corner point and this point. So what we do, un, uncommon part, common part will retain, uncommon part will erase. So now we'll erase uncommon part. First while shading we shade, first line also should shade above, I am erasing uncommon part. So let us erase uncommon part, that's what we are doing. So I am erasing uncommon part. Once you erase uncommon part, you will get common part, common region of shading, we call it as feasible region. And for unbounded graph, we should draw Z also, I have drawn. So on that shaded line, whatever we have is Z. So now we will erase. So after erasing, we name the points uh, B, C and that we call them as corner points. So I erase uncommon part. After erasing uncommon part, you have common region of shading. Common region of shading, we call it as what? And this dotted line is Z. So Z we need to just draw and this is a common region. Common region of shading, all of you know common region of shading is called as feasible region. So therefore, you got feasible region. So what is a feasible region? Feasible region is A, B, N, C. So we name it as a, B, C, D, A. So we have this is one point of intersection, this one point, and this is one point, and uh, yes, that's all. So here, here, this is not common region. So we'll shade above, we'll shade below. So it shades goes up. So this is uncommon. So this also we need to erase. This is uncommon. We should erase this. So common region is above this lines. So this is. Uh, the common regions in this point 
on this point and this point as it acts as a corner points for this we'll plot the graph when you plot the graph uh, so corner points one is 24 comma 0 substitute in z and you'll get z value as 1000 1 lakh 44 thousand then you substitute uh, 12 comma 4 you'll get uh, 88,000 you substitute 4 comma 12 in z you'll get 72,000 in this so they want to minimize the cost out of all the list of values so corner points we should substitute in objective function objective function is cost function so 24 means in the place of x put 24 in the place of y put 0 in this equation 6000 x means 6000 into 24 plus 4000 into y means 0 if you solve you'll get this number like that every point if you substitute you'll get all the points out of all the points the minimum value is 72,000 so the minimum cost is 72,000 produced by 4 and 12 means what 4 units of line 1 and 12 units of line 2 that's it. So this is a conclusion. Next we have direct graph. They may also ask a 5 more question which is a direct graph. They want you to maximize 30x plus 40y. They want you to maximize. They want you to maximize 30x plus 40y. So they are subject to the conditions 3x plus 6y less than or equal to 180, 4x plus 4y less than or equal to 200, xy greater than. So there are two lines. So these conditions how to solve. So they want you to graphically solve. If you want to solve any objective function graphically, we should draw subject uh, whatever we should draw the constraints first constraint subject to whatever they give subject to they give three equations i told you this refers to what first quadrant so your graph lies in first quadrant no need to solve this and only these two 3x plus 6y less than or equal to 80 so 3x plus 6y less than or equal to 80 i'll equate it to one uh, what is that 80 they give right yeah, sorry 180 180 so now first point on y axis put x is equal to 0 if you put x is equal to 0 you'll get three zeros are zero six y is equal to 180 and y is what 180 divided by six that is 30 why you got so now one of the point is zero comma 30 now put y zero six zeros are zero so three x is 180 and solve for x and x will become 180 by 3 that is 60 the other point is 60 comma zero so now we got two points and second line 4x plus 4y less than or equal to 200 second one 4x plus uh, 4y less than or equal to 200 4x plus 4y less than or equal to what 200 so i'll equate 4x plus 4y equal to 200 i'll take so x is equal to 0 if i do so y is equal to 200 by 4 so it will become 50 so 4 uh, 5 is a 50 so one of the point is 0 comma 50 point on y axis and put y 0 if i put y 0 I will get x uh, 50. So, 50 0 is other point. So, now I will draw these two lines and I will shade. So, so first let us draw the lines. You know, graph lies in first quadrant. This is x axis, this is y axis and we will draft a graph. So, 1 is 0 30. 1 centimeter will take 10 units. So, 0 30 and x axis 0 10 20. So this is 0 10 20 30. This is a point on uh, x axis that is y axis 0 30 and the other point is 60 10 20 30 40 50 60 60 0 is other point so now i'll stretch a line between these two and less than or equal to so shade below i should shade like this and the other one is what 50 0 0 50 0 50 will be above so now the other line 0 50 goes here somewhere here so 0 50 the other point is 50 0 50 0 is here so now i'll stretch a line so that they'll intersect at point and this is also shading below See, both the shading will make, see, red line shading is like this and uh, blue line shading, sorry, blue line shading is also down. So, blue line shading is also down. So, both will mix in this region. This is a mixing region. So, this is a feasible region. Feasible region means this point, this point, this point. So, if I call this as A and this is B, this is uh, C, D, A, D, P. So, corner points, one point is 0, 30. What is this? Where both the, see, shading both, I will shade down. So, only common region I will retain. Uncommon, I will erase. Uncommon part will erase and we will get this graph. So, clearly, this is a graph. So, one shade down, the other shade down. Both will mix in this region. That you retain. Uncommon part, you erase. So, this is a corner point. This is a corner point and this is a corner point. So, points, what is this a feasible region? We take them as corner points. One is 0, 30. We call it as C. And we call it as A, 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 B, C are the corner points. A, B, C. Put A, B, C in objective function. When you put A, 0, 0, Z is 0. 50, 0, you put 1500. 0, 30, you put 1500. So, in this, 
objective function will get two values of maximum and they want you to uh, produce maximum so maximum profit is 1500 and you can get all the points you see if you get two maximums then the answer is not only 50 0 0 30 so final answer you should write like this one more point we need to substitute we have done a mistake here so 50 0 you know 3 5 sir. and here 4 3 sir, 120 and point of intersection what is point of intersection 10 10 10 comma 10 also you should substitute that is a point of intersection 0 30 10 10 50 0 0 10 10 we should substitute this is not a corner point 0 30 0 30 is one of the corner point and 50 0 is other corner point and the other corner point is 10 so this is not a corner point so we'll put 10 comma 10 10 comma 10 so if i substitute in the z z is equal to what 30 into 10 plus 40 into 10 that will become 300 plus 400 that is 700 so now the optional solution is maximum value is 1600 so 40 and 10 we should substitute so we'll see the point of intersection again so what is the point of intersection sorry here the point of intersection also in the graph so whatever we mention so find the point of intersection dear students here the point of intersection you can do solve the simultaneous equation or find graphically so if i draw perpendicular if i draw perpendicular so when i draw perpendicular it meets at 40 so x value is 40 when i draw perpendicular it approximately meets at 10 40 10 is one of the point so this is uh, 40 10 so we'll take one more point as 40 10 this is a a and c and this is p a, P and C, this is P. A is there and P. P is uh, origin is not the point. Origin is, okay, origin is one of the vertex. Okay, O, C, B, P. So now we have taken in the table, origin I have taken, I named it as A. And uh, C, 30, 0 I have taken, I named it as uh, P or C sorry C so one more point we are left so we should uh, one more point we need to include that is that is a point that is point of intersection call this as P 40 10 P 40 10 if I substitute so now 40 comma 10 we will substitute in Z so Z value 40 comma 10 30 X means 30 into X is 40 plus uh, 40 Y 40 into Y Y means what 10 if you substitute it will become 4 3 is a 12,200 plus 400 it will become 1600 so we will get this value is 1600 dear students this is the maximum in the table so zero so if I substitute the vertices of feasible region this point and this point and this point and this point these are the four points this and this and this and this these are vertices of feasible region vertices of feasible region we call them as corner points so one is origin 150 0 and 0 31 the other one is uh, called as 40 10 so 4010 is the point of intersection. I'll substitute uh, one by one when you substitute. When you substitute this into Z, we'll get zero. If you substitute second one in Z, it will become 1500. Third one you substitute, it will become uh, 1500. Fourth one, if you substitute, it will become 1600. Out of all the values, this is maximum. So maximum profit of uh, 1600, you will get by producing 40 units of X and uh, 10 units of uh, 10 units of Y. So that is if you want to get a profit so x and y values are mentioned so this is the game i hope all of you understood this practice all these problems thanks for attending i'll see you in my next session thank you